So this is how I cut pots on an angle, and this is gonna be basically just a base, a cylindric base for, um, I made a whole bunch of them. They're gonna be cylinders and ewers and canteens and vases and whatever else I can think of. But right now, this is just the base. And I'm gonna elevate this base on one side with a clay coil, and I'm gonna put it on this end. And I'm gonna cut this base off at an angle. And the thing that you have to remember most is the end that you make higher is gonna be your lower end. I know that sounds odd, but that's the way it goes. And I'm gonna use this tool here. Um, this is actually a double-edged profile tool cutter. It was made for me um, by a putter Wally Keeler. And this is what he uses to make his fabulous articulated jugs, um, or at least one like this. And it's got a point on two sides, and one is a higher point and one is a lower point. And it all depends on the angle in what in the angle that you want your jug to begin with, um, which point you use. And in this case, I'm gonna use the higher point because I want the higher point to hit where it intersects with this clay coil down here. And all I'm gonna do is run this around the pot and move my banding wheel until it meets the point where I started. And then I'm gonna take this, and he actually uses this tool to cut with. Um, I think it's easier for me to just mark with this tool and cut with a sharp knife, so that's what I do. I'm getting my sharp knife. And I'm just gonna cut around this edge. These eventually are going to be oval in shape, but at this point, it's easier to mark it if I leave them nice and round before I bring them into that oval. I'll put it back in this oval shape right now. And then you can see how these are gonna sit. And that gives you a nice base, I think, to work with and put your bottom slab on. Hopefully these techniques have helped some of you out there, and if you'd like to see more videos in the future, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks.